What's up, family? Welcome to session seven of Mini Bites. Today's theme is forgiveness. And before I share some experiences with my work around forgiveness, I uh, just wanted to mention that you know these videos are all connected to the work that I do for a living, uh, which involves a program called the Trifecta Core Health Initiative. This program focuses on empowerment, eating intelligence, and physical fitness, and the program is designed to remind humans of their power to self-heal. So really grateful to be here today, and at the end, I will share some information about how you can find out more if you're interested. So the topic of forgiveness, along this journey, one thing that has become very clear to me that it, when it comes to forgiveness, it's really never about the other person. It's, it's always about myself. And around December, 2012 was when I made a conscious choice to begin diving deeper within and understanding further, um, my needs and my, my desires. And one of the first areas that was brought to my attention that needed to be addressed was the area of self-forgiveness. I had gotten so used to uh, self-judging patterns, I didn't even notice them. And I was asked to do this exercise for two weeks. I was asked to pay attention to how I talked to myself for about a two week period. Just paying attention, observing, not judging, not analyzing or assessing, simply observing how I talked to myself. And so at first, um, th this individual said, you're probably judging yourself a lot. And I said, well, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm happy. I've got a great job. Things are going well. Because you see, at the time, I, I didn't really see what I didn't see. That being said, I said, okay, I'll do the exercise. Well, throughout that following two weeks, it turned out that the majority of my conversation with self was self-judging. For example, I would come out of a meeting and I would say, gosh, you know, you weren't as clear about that, or why didn't you speak up more about that, or you didn't handle that well. And I mean, it was just one thing after another. And the issue with self-judging monologue or dialogue is that it leads to an inability to self-forgive. And when we aren't in a position to forgive ourselves, we really aren't in a position to forgive anyone else. And it's the same as, as, as love, um, until we can truly, um, and that's our journey as to continue to love ourselves more and more and to continue to show ourselves love more and more. I mean, that's, that's part of the path as well. The more we can show self love, the more we can show others love, the more we can forgive ourselves, the more we can forgive others, the less we judge ourselves, the less we judge others. And so it's a tricky thing because like I said, for me, it, ha it had become such a normal part of my, my practice that I was not aware of quite how much I was judging myself. And in fact, to this day, although I have become more conscious of it, it is still a constant and daily practice. For example, I'm facing certain challenges as life continues to happen and uh, there will always be something. And as I face these challenges, I'm going through periods where I'm not feeling like I've accomplished enough progress in that area of need. And that has turned into a dialogue with self of self judgment and a lack of ability to self forgive. And I've got to catch it and I can't always catch it. I don't always see it. So I'm going to segue briefly into another area that can be really helpful. Um, that's been really helpful to me in the area of self forgiveness. And that is surrounding myself with individuals who are striving to live authentically in, in the way that I define authenticity, which is showing up as we are embracing all that we are and surrounding myself with these individuals that can can see my blind spots because I have blind spots. These blind stop, these blind spots are formed as a, as the result of stories that I tell myself or patterns or conditioning over time. 
and and surrounding myself with people that can see the blind spots and and almost call them out in a loving way uh, when needed is incredibly helpful and supportive to my process of self-forgiveness of of love of compassionate love within and externally and it's made a tremendous tremendous difference in my life to surround myself with individuals who are ready and willing to remind me when I've forgotten. So today, uh, as I as I wrap up our time here, I would just invite you to remember uh, to be gentle with yourself. And you know, if if you notice that you are judging yourself, or if you notice that you are having trouble forgiving yourself for a certain act or behavior, to just simply observe it. Uh, not judging that, allow it to be where it's at, you know, holding space for it. And I also invite you to maybe reach out to someone in your circle or reach out to someone new and begin to cultivate a deeper connection with them in a way that is organic and supportive and mutual. Uh, Thank you. I love you all. Uh, For more information about the Trifecta Core Health Initiative and my work, please visit our website at www.emc2nolimits.com. You can also email me directly at emac at emc2nolimits.com for more information about uh, our personal coaching offering and my personal coaching program. Thank you so much. Love you all. Have a great day.